Hello, good day my dear friends. You are welcome once again to my channel. Thanks for, for joining me today as well. And today I want us to learn something, a very important lesson. In the heat of the pandemic, you can still discover a purpose. You can find a mission even in this pandemic. And I want us to learn this story from one Peter Carroll Piot. He's a Belgian doctor. And currently, he is the director of the School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. In 1976, Peter Piot played a pivotal role in the discovery of Ebola in Africa. In those days, he was only a 27-year-old scientist and a medical school graduate training as a clinical microbiologist. It was in this state that he worked on unraveling the mystery of a very serious epidemic which was killing several people in a remote part of the Congolese rainforest. 27 year old young man. When he was recounting his experience several years later, he explains that that experience says it led me to do things I thought only happened in books. He added that it gave me a mission in life. It gave me a mission in life to work on health in developing countries. After the successful story of finding, of discovering the epidemic, the name of the virus that they gave was to a river. That was the river Ebola. He said it gave him a mission in life. But after this experience, he went on to research the AIDS pandemic in Africa and eventually became the executive director of the UN AIDS organization. Those were bad times, but he found in them a purpose and a mission in life. It doesn't matter what bad times you are going through, you can find a purpose and a mission. He has lived this purpose all his life, and here we are, 2020, there is another virus, COVID-19, the coronavirus. Piot is 71 years old. But he was still living his purpose. He's still living his purpose. In the course of his duties, he tested positive for COVID-19. Because he was an old man, his condition was critical, 71 years old. So he went into critical condition, but he recovered. And after his recovery, he thinks that the virus has left lasting implications. But he adds something that is so important. He says, in, a, in an interview that was taken, that, that, that took place on 2nd May 2020, this is what he said. At the later part of the interview, he said, I remain a born optimist. And now that I have faced death, my tolerance levels for nonsense and bullshit have gone down even more than before. Piot believes that his encounter with the coronavirus was a life-changing experience. At 71, he thinks that the pandemic leaves him an opportunity to find another purpose. Just like this man, young at 27, he discovered a purpose. At 71, he still thinks that the pandemic is a life-changing experience. You can also do something positive in the midst of this pandemic. You may not be the one to discover a vaccine, but the situation could shape a purpose for your life. Instead of focusing on the bad news, instead of spreading fear and panic, instead of focusing on the numbers of people who get infected every day and those who are dying on a daily basis, you can think of a way that you can contribute to save 
something to save a situation, to save the world. It doesn't matter your current situation, whether you have money or not, whether you've lost your job to coronavirus or not, it doesn't matter. The situation could be a life-changing moment for you.